question. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Austin Montini, and I am a junior here at Oak Hall School. First question, Austin, cross-country runner you enjoy running against and watching? So, a cross-country runner I enjoy watching is my brother, Caden, and some of the other members of our team here. They always run really fast and give it their all, and it's fun to see them all improve throughout the season. Okay. The best movie you've ever seen? Um, probably Interstellar. Makes you think a lot. Okay. See, Coach Materius' best words of advice for you? Coach Mack likes to keep it simple. His best words of advice are probably just run fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, D, distance runners are better than sprinters because of what? We just have more fun with all the music and the long runs. It's just, it's just more fun. Okay. Eat, uh, eating habits during cross country and track and field season. What's that like? Um, a lot of early mornings and a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, F, fastest 5K time that you're striving for this season? Probably sub 15:30 is my ultimate goal. Okay. G, going to your junior year, you train how many miles per week? Probably around um, 40 to 45. Okay. You have the same kind of um, uh, field, of some kind of, same kind of run you do every day, or just different kind of runs, or what? Just curious. I mean, we have our longer distance runs that we do with around nine, ten miles, and then we have regular runs that are around seven. But I mean, that's about it. Okay. Hey, happiest day of your life was when what happened? When we um, came in second at state last year. That was awesome. Okay. All right. Interesting thing about you away from cross country and track and field. Um. I do ACP, so I do a lot of drawing and painting. It's pretty okay. fun. Yeah. Um, Jay, Joker on the team. Uh, a lot of our guys think they're the Joker on the team, but I guess if I had to choose one, probably Miles Kelleher. Why him? I don't know. He's always just got funny, something funny to say, and he's he's quick on his toes with that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, Kay, key to juggling sports and academics. It's definitely time management. I mean, you gotta, with running, you gotta get to bed on time. So you gotta get your work done quickly and efficiently. Okay. Now, least favorite Oak Hall cross country and track and field moment? That's probably at Foot Locker last year. I fell at the very beginning of the race and it was all muddy and cold and a bunch of you guys like stepped on me, which kind of sucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, music you enjoy listening to? I like a lot of different kind of music, to be honest. I mean, I guess if I had to pick one, either like pop or maybe 80s, I guess. Okay. Uh, and nickname, you have a nickname? Not really. I mean, sometimes people call me Speedy Montini, but that's <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, one person inspires you the most? That'd probably be my dad because he's always at my races and he, he was a collegiate runner too. Or I'm not a collegiate runner, but <laughs> I mean, he was a collegiate runner and he really knew what he was talking about and he... He's really an inspiration. Cool. Uh, Pete, preparing for the upcoming Bobcat class in three weeks um, at Santa Fe College. How tough of a field do you expect? I mean, I haven't really looked at it yet, to be honest with you, but my goal is just to go out there and win. Because I know you finished running up to Caden last year. Yeah, that was that was tough. But yeah. this year he's not going to be here, so hopefully he'll finish first. <laughs> um, cute, quiet time activity. Um. I guess I play ping pong a little bit, which is pretty fun. And then, of course, every kid my age plays video games. But <laughs> right. um, our run at 1610 and placing fifth at last Saturday's Florida Fourth Park Invitational. Were you happy with that time this early in the season? I mean, for this early in the season, yes, it's a pretty good time. I'm looking to go down from that a little bit as the season progresses. And I mean, I've never really liked Horse Park. It's kind of bad footing in my opinion. But we'll see what I do as the season progresses. Okay. Yes, seeing the finish line at the end of a grueling race makes you think of what? Yes, I'm almost there. <laughs> Sprint faster. <laughs> okay. Um, T, toughest, a lot of energy. Part, toughest part of being a cross country runner is what? Uh, it's probably the second, or it's all the mental toughness because cross country is definitely a mental sport. So convincing yourself that you can do it and that you can make it to the end of the race at a certain speed is probably the toughest part of the entire thing. Okay. Um, you, universities or colleges you're considering? I mean, I've definitely gotten some letters from a few universities, but I mean, academics is definitely a, a key consideration for me. I want to go to a school with good academics. So, I mean, right now I'm just trying to run as fast as I can, keep my grades as high as I can, and then see what happens. Okay. V, vacation spot you love to go to? 
Um, I mean, a good cruise is always amazing, especially with the food, and that's just great. And then, um, I guess skiing is also really fun, too. Okay. Uh, w, what got you interested in running to begin with? Um, well, Coach Max has been my coach since, oh my gosh, since pretty much I got here in, like, preschool. Because he was our lower school running coach, and we'd always have lap day down at the lower school. And that was just really fun. That's probably where I first got started. And, I mean, my dad got me started with it, too, at AAU, which was fun. Okay. Uh, X, X Factor, as now the top runner in the area time-wise, you're not chasing runners like the past, like Caden and Logan and Callum. Does that change in how you run at all? I mean, a little bit. Um, now that I don't have people to chase as much, and I'm kind of not seen as the underdog anymore, now I just got to go in with the mindset that you just got to get out in front and then finish strong and win it. And I think as the season progresses, I'm going to work more and more on finishing that third mile instead of kind of coasting in a little bit so I can kind of bring my time down a bit. Okay. Um, Why, wow, your legacy, how important is it to, to leave records and big accomplishments while at Oak Hall? Well, it's very important to me because my little brothers, <laughs> normally he's not, he hasn't been quite with me thus far, but he's getting much bigger and stronger now. And I really want to keep my times high enough that he won't break them. But <laughs> okay. he's coming quick. <laughs> okay. And last question, zoo animal you like the most and why? Ah, that's a tough one. That's probably the toughest one on this whole list. Um, probably the otter because it's super cute and it can do like all kinds of cool water tricks and stuff. It's just kind of a fun animal. Okay.